Hi everyone, so my name is Sophie um, and my company name is One Stop VA. Um, so I've been a VA since about April this year, so not that long. Um, and I really decided to be a VA, VA because my life, my job was so stressful before. I was working in London, full-time job, um, managing a 24-7 team, which meant that my life was 24-7 as well, um, work constantly checking my phone, emails, getting phone calls at 11 o'clock at night on a Sunday from my boss just because it was expected of me because I was on a salary, wasn't getting paid any extra money for that overtime and it just became really frustrating. I ran myself down to the ground um, and just ended up having a bit of a breakdown really last um, November, I think it was, a complete utter breakdown, just couldn't handle it anymore and that's when I decided that actually I needed out, I couldn't do this anymore. Um, and I needed to just be in control of my work life and my work life balance because that's just completely what I'd, I'd lost and I was miserable. Um, so I'd already researched, because I was miserable before, researched being a VA. I came across the uh, VA handbook, which is recommended to me uh, by someone, um, and quite quickly realised that actually, you know what, I need to buy the, uh, the DIY VA course because... I need this helping hand. I actually don't really know how to fully get started. The concept freelancer just scared me so much. I thought, I don't know if I can do that. That's not something I've ever done before. It's such a new concept. Um, you know, how, how do I manage my own business? That was more the problem. I, I was confident in a way when I was being realistic about what touch skills I had and how I could effectively help my clients. Um, it was more about the, how do I run a business? How do I do my accounts? How do I invoice someone how do I ask for money and that was what was really scary um so I bought the course in uh, November last year when there was um the Black Friday sale which is really good thanks Joe. um and I basically just made the decision that that's it I've got to quit by beginning of uh 2017 and I did which was great um and I met Joe at the office show in uh, London when it was on at uh, Kensington Olympia because it was right opposite where I worked which was really handy so I managed to skive off for a few hours in the morning and come along and meet Jo and I did sort of think at the time oh she's this like huge celebrity in the VA world which you kind of are um, but it was actually quite refreshing to realise that someone that knows so much about what they do and how to be a VA and how to teach people to be VAs is actually refreshingly normal um, which is really good so um, that was really lovely and, and gave me a confidence boost to actually, you know, do it. And when I met all the other VAs that were there as well, it was really, really good. So definitely do that every time it comes up, Joe. That was really good for me. Um, so what I love now about the fact that I quit, um, I have no commute now, which is, you know, for anyone that works in London and lives just outside London, will know just how expensive the commute is into London. So instantly I'm saving thousands of pounds on that. Um, can you anyway because I can just work from home which is brilliant um, I can also have my dog who I love very much I have my children so my dog is my life um, which a lot of people will probably understand um, and I couldn't have a dog before because I just worked too my hours are just too long in London so that's been really great for me it's such a soul booster and I, and I can do that now and I don't have to feel guilty about it and I can just be here with her all the time which is brilliant um, so the clients I've got at the moment are my main client is where I used to work before because they were just so hectic and actually I really noticed that actually I, can, I know a lot of stuff. I've worked there for years. I've got the knowledge and the skills that I can you know, give to them and, and help them out with and I knew that they'd need my help. So they're my biggest client at the moment, um, which I'd always recommend to people starting out, go with someone that you've worked with before because they know you, they trust you and ultimately you pitching to them, they probably wouldn't even think about the fact that you could help them. So definitely go for that if you can. Um, I've also got a my stepbrother and stepsister. They own a gardening company, so that's one of my other clients. And I've just taken on a new um, lady, which I'll be starting this week, uh, who's a life coach who I met at a networking event. So networking is definitely great. Meet people, talk about what you do. And I used to almost feel a bit ashamed of what I did and didn't really know how to... Um, to sort of confidently say what I do but now I feel more passionately about it and I actually think you know what I do actually I can offer help to a lot of people and I am I am kind of useful and <laughs> they do all need me which is good so I've I've started to gain in confidence um 
with everything, which is really nice as well. Um, whereas before, I wasn't really feeling that. And I definitely think a lot of that has come from being part of the uh, the VA Rockstars Facebook group, which is the private Facebook group once you've joined the course. That's such a huge um, confidence boost. Um, and to be honest, even just having the course there, I haven't finished the course yet. I kind of just threw myself into it. I've been working, which has been great, you know, getting some money to start with, which I was really worried about. And so I've been really lucky, actually. I've been earning about the same that I was on in London, probably. Um, but I haven't finished the course. Guilty as charged with that. Um, but I will finish it. And what I'm starting to realize now is that now I've got a new client that's not really known to me. I'm starting to think, oh, I need to be more professional now, I'm getting a bit flustered, and I know that I've got the course there, which I'm going to throw myself back into to finish and um, ensure I am a professional business owner and I do have all the tools that I need. So that's really good. Um, so, yeah, all I would say to everyone is, is go for it. Honestly, the Facebook group, it might sound simple, but it's so useful. Joe is always there to answer any questions, as are all the other VAs, which is brilliant. Um, and you know what? Just do it. Being freelance is amazing. You can, it's hard, of course it's hard, you've got to work to get your own money in, but it's so rewarding being able to just work to your hours. If I need to go and see someone, if I've got to, you know, I've, got, I've had um, a relative in hospital recently, so I've been able to go to the hospital during visiting hours and then do a bit of work later in the evening, and I've got that luxury now. I don't have to ask anyone, I just say I'm not available in between 10 and 12. It's really, really good. So, honestly, it's hard work, but it's the best decision I ever made. My work life balance is so much better. Um, and it's onwards and upwards from here. Plus, bonus, I had a Skype call with a client today. I look fairly presentable here. I'm wearing joggers. No one would ever know from this, this part. So, great, really. Uh, do it, is all I can say. And good luck, everyone. Best thing I ever did.